So let me just step it up a little bit and, and get me a big mama bag. Jalen got ready to get out the truck to go into work and he slapped Katie in the face, y'all. He said he went for a walk. I was about to grab the blinky. Like, what's going on? <laughs> What up, y'all? Good morning. Welcome to or welcome back to another raggedy vlog. Today is what's today? What's today, Duke? Something went wrong. Please Girl, try again. Girl, what are you talking about? September 18th. Today is Wednesday, September the 18th. I know y'all can see that. Y'all, look what time it is. It is 11 o'clock. I'm just not picking y'all up. I am with Caden. We pulled up to CVS because he need to come in here and get a immunization shot. He got kicked out of school today. He called me this morning and said, Mama, you got to come get me or they're going to send me the ISS because I got to get my immunization shot. And I meant to take him yesterday to get the immunization shot, but I totally forgot. So I have been riding all over the world. I'm so mad right now because this place was literally like 15 to 20 minutes from where we were. And I spent a whole hour trying to figure out where I was going. When I punched it in the GPS, it didn't put the right address in. It didn't register the numbers. It only registered the highway. So it was trying to take me, I guess, to the middle of the highway I was looking for. When actuality, it was really like right down the street from where we were. So I'm so mad right now. But his appointment is not until 1220 and it's 1142 now. Y'all, I would have been here probably like 1115. And it's 11.42. I'm so mad right now. But anyway, we getting ready to go in here, get this immunization. And y'all, please don't come up in my comments talking about why you didn't get them um, kids or why you didn't get him, like, uh, dismissed from the immunization. Let me tell you something. That's my child. I didn't get him dismissed from no immunization. Why? Because I've been taking immunizations all my life. I ain't never had no problem with them. Hopefully, prayerfully, nothing ever happens to me later on in life due to no immunization. But I got immunization, so... We're going to be getting him immunizations, too. That's just it. Point blank period. So, no, we did not go and get no religious stuff saying that we're not going to get no immunization for my kids. If that's what y'all want to do, then that's what y'all do. But, yeah, the last time I posted I got some immunization for my kids, somebody got in my comments and said, uh, why you didn't get them, um, like, uh, I guess, you know, to where you don't have to get immunization for them. Because I didn't want to. And I don't have to. So, yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead, y'all, because I'm, I'm about to talk y'all head off. I hope y'all having a good morning so far. I'm not. I'm, I'm really aggravated right now. So, I hope these people don't. Um, do I got my key, Katie? Let me make sure I got my key, y'all, before I lock this door and be even more mad. Hold on, baby. I'm coming. Okay. Okay, yeah, I got it. So, yeah, let me go ahead. I hope these people don't say nothing to get on my nerves. I'm going to try to... Um, check in early i already did my stuff online with the insurance and the payment and all this stuff so hopefully it'll be a smooth process but pray for me y'all because lord please don't let these people get on my nerves because i'm 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 in the mood now to, to to go off on somebody i ain't got time today i'll holler at y'all later Type in that confirmation code right there. Okay, y'all. So we are all checked in. Um, me and Kaden walking around, just looking around the store. I was looking at some of this lip gloss. They got some cute little lip glosses. This is cute. I bet Carmen would like this. But I don't know if she gonna want no glitter in her stuff. What is this? Hmm. What's that doing? Boy, you do not need that. Crazy self. Are you just showing me? Boy. Oh, peach gummy flavor. Yeah, baby. Oh, what? Oh, my gosh. How much is it? Y'all, I had one back in the day. If y'all been, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to my channel for a minute. Oh, my gosh, she's $60. Oh my God. Y'all, I had one back in the day, but Carmen cut her ball. I'm talking about she didn't have no hair left on her head. Well, Carmen was a baby. She cut my area doll ball. And it used to sing. And she used to sing. Yeah, that one right there sing too. Let me see. I'll push the button. I'm sure she did. Hi there. Look at all the treasures we found. Let's buy more. Uh, she didn't sing. Oh, I thought she was 
Should I get this for Carmen? Oh, she do sing. Listen, y'all. Oh, uh, and the turn on like something like that. I don't know. Oh, the turn on like that. I wonder if she can go under the water. Oh, yeah, it's a like play in and out of water. Okay, so your last one could have gone in the water. Yeah, she did. I used to put her in the tub with me. Mm-hmm, she did. I'm not paying $60 for her, because I can get it at Walmart or uh, Amazon for cheaper than that. But I yeah, thought when you put her I want in the water, one. she no. could have No, she meant to go underwater. No, she still sang, but Carmen just, she cut all her hair off, so she was bald headed. <laughs> okay, let me go back over here and look at these lip glosses, y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. We're just waiting on them to call us to the back, and then we are out of here. We're going to get something to eat when we leave here. Which hand do you write in? Right hand? Okay. So then, yeah, you need to get one and then two in your left. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't want to be a two right in your hand. hours later I'm back at home now I had to uh, take Jalen to work and then um, I went and took Carmen something to drink at football practice and now I'm back home y'all so I'm getting ready to um, start cooking I'm gonna cook some Italian chicken tonight but I had to pick up some items for Carmen that she requested for her lunch because, uh, yeah, that school lunch is high. So the $10 that we putting on everybody account, we could just be, you know what I'm saying, buying groceries with that and buying them snacks and stuff. Y'all, it's a fly in here that's about to drive me absolutely insane. I can't, it's one thing I can't stand, it's flies. Like, they have no purpose. What is the use of a fly? Like, going on somewhere. But anyway, I'm gonna do a quick haul to show y'all what I picked up. Picked her up some cheeses for her lunch. Um, got Jalen some Slim Jims. I picked this up to put in the Italian chicken tonight. It's just a mixture of peppers and onions. Y'all know I'm from the microwave generation. I'm not cutting up no vegetables. If I can buy them already cut, pre-sliced, whatever the case may be, that's what I'm going to do. Got her some honey turkey breast. Then I picked up some string beans for tonight's dinner as well. Then I got her some uh, hair care products. She needs a new spray bottle for her hair because when she wets, she likes to wear her hair curly in a big puff. So she likes to spray her hair with water. And then picked her up some more gel to slick her hair back. And then I also picked up some wipes. Cause yeah, if you know, you know, these are not just for babies. <laughs> if you know, you know. So yeah, that's basically everything I got y'all. I'm getting ready to start cooking. I have the chicken in the sink now, cleaning itself or whatever. And I'm getting ready to pull this out, pull the skin off, because we don't eat the skin on the chicken. And I'm going to pop it in the oven. And hopefully it'll be done by the time the monkey home. I'm pretty sure he's getting ready to go to the gym, so he probably won't get home until about 7 o'clock tonight. So hopefully it'll be done by the time he come home, because I've been trying to edit a video while I was sitting here. And yeah, 
that's that on that. So yeah, anyway, I'll holler at y'all tomorrow if I don't pick y'all back up no more tonight. Y'all, my kids is so stupid. Jalen got ready to get out the truck to go into work and he slapped Katie in the face, y'all. Katie was back there asleep and he slapped Katie. And Katie ran in after Jalen went in the bathroom and Trey ran in there behind him. They so stupid. Can y'all come on? Y'all play all day. Look at him. He's so stupid. <laughs> What up, y'all? Good morning. It's your girl, Key. And today is September the 20th. Y'all, this weekend is very special. Tomorrow is my baby girl, Lonnie's 19th birthday. Yay, my baby about to be 19. I cannot believe I have a 19-year-old. But I can't believe I got a 21-year-old either. So, <laughs> make it make sense. When did the time go? Like, it's been flying. Her and her college roommate and a couple of friends are going to be going to, um, I think, bowling, she said. They're going skating. And then I think they're going to do a little bit of shopping. And then they're doing um, dinner. So we'll probably go see her on Sunday. Now, she texted me the other day. And she told me that she wanted a Ed Hardy two-piece suit. I don't know where the heck I'm going to get that from. Y'all, I didn't even think they still sold Ed Hardy. Last time I seen an Ed Hardy suit was when I was in high school. And I graduated in 2001. So, yeah. Where I'm going to get that from, I have no idea. So, I try to pop up in the mall and see if I can find something in there today. And then she also said that she wanted a uh, pink umbrella. I don't know if she wanted a clear pink umbrella. I was going to get her one off of Amazon. But I was like, I'm pretty sure I should be able to find a pink umbrella somewhere, right? Because this past week, it's been raining here in North Carolina, and she said her raggedy umbrella broke on her. So, she was like, Mama, why y'all send me to school with this raggedy umbrella? Girl, we done been in Walmart a thousand times. You could have picked up a Walmart umbrella by now. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to see if I can find my baby a pink umbrella. And my baby says she wants a onion. Baby, she don't care about nothing. As long as she get that onion, I'm pretty sure that umbrella and that air hardy suit could take a back seat. Because really, that baby, all she wanted is some onion. You feel me? So anyway, yeah, we're going to do all that for her. I'm going to try to go find the suit today and the umbrella today if I can. I'm in here trying to get dressed and get out the door now. I've been cleaning up all morning. I've been up ever since they got on the bus this morning at like 7 something. So I've been cleaning up my room ever since then. I still haven't touched my closet yet. I touched a few items in my closet. But y'all know, baby, that closet in there... That's that's a whole nother ball game. That's a beast right there. So I'm not even getting ready to get on that right there. I'm gonna leave that light off so I don't even think about that closet right now. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put my clothes on, finish getting dressed, and then I'm gonna get up out of here. I don't know what else I got going on. I, I mean, I really don't have nothing going on. I don't got nothing planned. Y'all know I just pretty much sometimes wing it in my vlogs. I just pick up the vlog and go. Hardly ever do I plan a vlog out. So with that being said, I hope y'all are having an amazing Friday. Hope y'all continue to have an amazing Friday. Hope everybody made it to their destinations. Safe and sound per use. Y'all know how I get down over here. I be praying for y'all. I hope y'all be praying for me too. Also, before I go, I'm going to show y'all my quick little haul of some stuff that I picked up. So, give y'all some context on the reason why I picked that stuff up. So, my husband, right? 
he made a bet with me. It was not really a bet. It was like, okay, um, I lost something that's extremely important. And if you can find it for me, then I got 300 for you. 300. I said, what? What you mean? He said, I'm going to take you shopping if you can find it. I said, okay, say less, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I went to see if I could find it. Y'all told this house up. Asked all the kids. He even said the same thing to the kids. He was like, if y'all can find it, I got 300 done for y'all. 300 done. Like, what kid finna turn down 300 done? I didn't even want to turn down. So, asked the kids. They couldn't find it. Katie came in here and helped me find it. He couldn't find it. Y'all, long story short, I ended up finding what he was looking for, right? What he had lost. And I keep telling my husband, babe, I think you got a little bit of, a little touch of dementia. Like, you know how when you've been with somebody for so long, like I've been with my husband for a, a long time, in my opinion, and I know this comes with the territory of growing old. When you get married and you stay them vows, you, you basically want to grow old with your partner. So, and a lot of times, you know, when you've been around for somebody so long, you know their mannerisms, you know their ways, you know their demeanors, you, you just know their, like you pretty much know them like a book. So I know my husband like a book. And a lot of times now here lately, he been losing stuff a lot. Like he'll put something somewhere and then he'll forget where he put it or he'll say something and he forget what he said. Or it, it's just like, you know, like, like the little subtle things that you start to notice in your, your, your spouse or your partner or whatever the case may be. So yeah, I, I really, I'm, I'm praying that it's not, maybe it's just that because he's, he's kind of, he's always been kind of forgetful, but here lately it's like an overdrive forgetfulness. So I'm going to keep an eye on him and everything, you know what I'm saying? Just making sure that, mm -hmm, you know, it ain't no dementia creeping in or whatever, because you know, dementia can creep in at, you know, around this time, my husband's 45 now. So, and I've seen people, you know, this age, maybe close to 50 and dementia start creeping in. So yeah, anyway, it is what it is. So I found it. He ended up taking me shopping and I'm going to show y'all everything that I picked up. I think I might've took y'all in the stores with me. I really can't remember because a lot of this stuff, y'all, when I be going shopping, I don't record. It just depends on like the mood I'm in. Hold on, y'all. I got to sneeze. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I, I sneeze ugly. So, that's why I told y'all to hold on. But anyway, <laughs> it just depends on the mood I'm in. It depends on how many folks in the store. Sometimes I don't care about how many folks in the store. Sometimes I do. It just all depends on the day and how I'm feeling that day. But I think I did record a little bit of me going um, shopping. I think I went to Ross. And I think I went into Marshalls. But yeah, I'll show y'all what I picked up before I leave. And yeah, that's basically it, y'all. So if you are here for the first time, please do your girl a favor. Hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? So YouTube can push me out and do its thing. So more people can start coming over here. I'm growing, but I'm growing at a snail's pace. I have fluctuated between two, three, and four subscribers for about the past month now. So I'm trying to get over this hump. So yeah, if you are watching me and you clicked on this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, girl. Don't play with me. Hit the subscribe button. Okay, y'all. So I am back. Get ready to get out of the house. But like I said, I want to show y'all real quick what I picked up the other day when I went on my little um, shopping trip from the bed that I won. So I got all the bags right here of everything that I bought. And I got some other stuff in here too that I bought um, the other day. So I just showed that to y'all too, since it's all the same bag. Okay, um, this is the fit for today. Hold on, let me turn y'all around to my mirror. Okay y'all, my bathroom kind of junky right now, so don't pay no attention to that. But this is the fit for today. I just picked up this shirt um, the other day when I went to Walmart, it says people, one star. If I could give zero stars, I would, but it says absolute nightmare would not recommend. Y'all know I'm not a people person. So yeah, when I saw this, I had to pick it up. I got my, uh, coach file bag on, and then I'm going to be wearing these sandals that i got from ross i told y'all i paid like seven dollars for these i think 
I showed these to y'all when I went into Ross that day and picked these up. And so, yeah, they are so comfortable. So, I'm going to be wearing these today. And now, I'm going to show y'all my stuff that I picked up from the store. Hold on one second. Let me flip y'all around. I need to put my necklace on. But um, one of my necklaces, my, my big I Love You necklace, I snagged it the other day. And I need to find out where I snagged it at because when I snagged it, it's, it's got these little hooks on the inside right there that you can see. When I snagged it, one of the hooks back here broke. So, Lamont going to have to take it and get it welded so I can um, start back wearing it because I, I love my I Love You necklace. But I actually have two of these I Love You necklaces, but one of them... I accidentally left in Lamont's car. It's smaller than this one. And sometimes I don't like the way it fits around my neck because it's kind of tight. So I got to get this one fixed because this one is my favorite one. Hold on, y'all. Lonnie calling me. I'll hit y'all right back. Okay, y'all. My baby just called me and told me she was getting ready to go to English class. So let me show y'all this real quick. She said, my mom, where you going with that shirt on? You are so rude. She, y'all, some of these graphic tees that I be having on, she be like, mommy, please don't wear that graphic tee talking about you don't like people and people need Jesus and all that stuff. I said, girl, that's who I am. I'm going to be who I am, okay? So anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. I got this hat, this NYC hat. Ever since I came back from NYC, I've been looking at NYC stuff. Even though the folks in NYC got on my nerves. We ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to go there. But baby, the folks got on my <laughs> They got on my nerves. But yeah, I like this hat. It's like a corduroy hat. I can't wait to wear it. It's so cute. I think I paid. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's like $10 for it. I can't wait to wear this this winter. Oh, yes. This is going to be so cute. Next, oh y'all, I picked these hair things up from Walmart. I'm about to put them in my hair. I'm glad I ran across them. I'm about to put them in my hair. I'm about to put them gold ones in my hair. They like hoops or whatever. And they got other little things in here too, but I don't really too. I mean, I, you know, I might, but you know, I know they these right here, they gonna turn quick. These hoops might take a second, but they got other little spiral things down here too. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I'm going to put these in my hair before I leave. Um, some of this stuff in here is Caden's, too. Okay, yeah, Caden got a uh, a sweater. I got Caden two sweaters just because he tried to help me find what we was looking for, but I was the one ultimately to find it. So, Caden got this Spider-Man sweater, and it just says Marvel in the front. And then he got this, I don't know what this is. Oh, Peanuts, Charlie Brown. It's crazy how parents <laughs> inspire their kids because y'all, kids don't know nothing about no Peanuts, Charlie Brown, Marvel. I mean, he might know a little bit about Marvel, but I am a Marvel fanatic, okay? When I tell y'all I love Marvel movies, I love Marvel movies. So, and I think he is into Marvel because I'm into Marvel. Lamont is into Marvel because I'm into Marvel. Jalen is into Marvel. But them girls, child, they don't care nothing about no Marvel. Next, I got this little Rachel Zoe necklace with an L on it. And for those that don't know, if you just getting here or, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to figure out who I am and what I'm about, my name is, I do have my channel, is Carolina Key, K-E-I. I was going to put it as K-E-Y, but somebody already had that name because I really actually spell my name K-E-Y. Lamont has been spelling my name K-E-Y for years, so I just roll with K-E-Y, but it's really K-E-I. But my first name is Lakita, L-A-K-E-I-T-A. So, that's why I got this L necklace. And I might put this on today since I feel, you know what I'm saying, my neck feels naked. I don't like my neck to feel bald-headed. I like something on my neck. So, and I said, what I tell y'all, oh, this is Rachel Zoe, and it was $15. So, I might put this on in a few minutes. And then I also picked up this Rachel Zoe 
I guess it's supposed to be a Van Cleave dupe bracelet. And I thought this was so cutie. And it is 14 karat gold plated over um, sterling silver cubic zirconia. And I paid $19 for this. So yeah, I thought this was real cute. I don't think I'm going to put this on today because I already have bangles and a bracelet on. But I do think I'm going to wear this um, L necklace. Next, I picked up, y'all, I picked up these kind of dress pants, I guess you could say. I thought they were so cute. I love the colors. And their flare leg at the bottom. And they're, they're like that, um, like that ribbed type of material. I'm sure you can see it in there. But I thought these were so cute. They are, of course, in a size 1X because I don't wear my clothes too tight. And I only paid $9 for them. I thought that was pretty good. And I got a blouse to go with them too. I just picked up any kind of blouse. I didn't care what the blouse looked like, but I really think that I'm going to see if I can find me a, um, a um, gosh, what's it called? A leotard? Well, a bodysuit, but whatever you want to call it, baby. I grew up calling them leotards. Y'all, hold on. Let me turn this TV down. I'm watching Coach Carter. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, my bad. So, anyway, I picked up this um, blouse. This is a DKNY blouse. I got it for, it was on reduced price for $12. And it is an extra large. But, like I said, I think I'm going to see if I can pick me up a bodysuit today. And I'm going to wear a black bodysuit with those pants. And maybe a jean jacket or something like that. So, but this is, you know, just in case I can't find a bodysuit, then I'm just going to wear um, this with it. And, and it stretches at the bottom. And that's the only reason why I got it. Because y'all know I don't, I don't like my stomach area. So, I have to have room in my stomach area. And then these y'all, oh my God. I think these was waiting for me because... As soon as I saw them, I was like, I got to get them. I said, if they in my size, I got to get them. I got me some Ugg rain boots. These are so cutie to me. I love me some rain boots anyway. And sometimes I wear boots, like rain boots, regardless, whether it's raining or whatever, in the wintertime. And they are a size 8. They was in my size. And I tried them on. And they fit perfectly. And the lining is like, it's like that, I guess it's called Sherpa. I'm not sure. I think that's what it's called. But it's that Sherpa fur. And it's they so comfortable on the inside, y'all. They feel so good when I tried them on. So, yeah, I thought these were really cute. I, I don't remember what I paid for. Oh, hold on. It's on the bottom. That was $40. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's upside down. But that was $40, y'all. And I was like, some Uggs for $40. Some rainbow Uggs for $40. You can't beat that with a bat. So, I went ahead and grabbed them up, y'all. I said, they, they were sitting there waiting on me. And last but not least. Oh, no. Not yet. I also got this blouse that says love on it. And it's see-through, so I'm going to have to wear me a shirt with it. But... I like to wear these sometimes like with, with jeans. Like I could wear it today with what I got on. I got on some jeans today. I showed y'all already, but I could, you know, wear this today if I wanted to. But it was on clearance too, I think. And it was $9. And this is a size, I think it's probably a 1X. Oh, this is a size 2X. Now, last but not least, I picked up this girl. Y'all may have seen in a previous vlog that I was looking at this purse. And I was like, well, you know what? I don't really want to pay $40 for it. Not right now. For the simple fact that I have so many Steve Madden bags as it is. Like, I am a sucker for Steve Madden bags. Certain Steve Madden bags. Let me put that out there. Because all Steve Madden bags is not created equal. I do not like all Steve Madden bags. But it's, it's certain Steve Madden bags that I absolutely love. And I am obsessed with the color cognac. So... I saw this in there one day, and I was like, mm, I ain't getting it right now because I don't want to pay that $40. So, apparently, I was the only one that liked this purse because I went back in there a month later, and it was still there. So, I said, this, this is my sign, Lord. This is my sign. I'm going to go ahead and get this purse today. So, here she is. I absolutely love her. 
This is so cute to me. I absolutely love her. I said, your girl about to be 42. You know what I'm saying? So let me just step it up a little bit and, and get me a big mama bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I love it when he called me big mama, you know. So, yeah, this 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 right here, I feel, is a big mama bag. She, she doing her big one. She doing her one, too. She is, like, like, the color is automatically, like, I was sold with the color. Why does it match my twist? Almost. Like, what, girl? But, anyway, I was sold with the color. And then it's got all these compartments in it and everything. Like, yeah, it's it's giving Big Mama, you know? And I said, well, this strap right here seals the deal. Because I love that strap. I love that thick strap. And it's the same color as the bag. So I can't wait to wear her. Cannot wait to wear her. I always take these off. I cannot stand when Steve Madden put these on their bags and they dangling and they heavy on the bag. I always take these off. Like I said, I'm about to be 42, baby. Like, it's giving grown woman with some business about herself. You feel me? So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my haul. I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I'm going uh, <laughs> to I'm a cocoa butter these feet down because they're giving kind of ashy right now when I got out the shower. And I'm going to put some cocoa butter on my face. And then I'm out of here. So I'll pick y'all back up out there in these Fayetteville streets. Okay, y'all, so I pulled up at the mall. I'm about to go in here and check uh, maybe about three stores. I'm going to check Tilly's, Zoomies, and PacSun to see if they had it. I did look online, and I saw that they do have some um, Ed Hardy apparel, but I didn't see any, like, track suits or nothing like that. So, I'm going to go in here. If they don't have no track suits, then maybe I'll just grab her a sweater or a coat or something. At least she'll have something Ed Hardy. I think I'm going to have to order it online because I did see that um, Fashion Nova uh, carries Ed Hardy. I guess they're calling it Y2K clothing or whatever. Baby, Y2K, the year Y2K, I live through Y2K. 82 baby here. Live through Y2K, honey. Everybody thought that we was going to die. I am not even gonna hold y'all. The year 2000 hit, and everybody thought that that was the end of the world. Like, it was crazy. Like, I was really sitting around, like, dang, this how I'm gonna go in the year 2000, and I graduate next year, 2001. They couldn't let me make it to 2001. Like, I was really scared, y'all. I was shook in year 2000. But anyway, let me go ahead. Y'all, I forgot to show y'all last night. I um stopped at McDonald's and got the Crocs Happy Meal, y'all. Look, I got the little Croc keychain in here. I haven't opened it yet. Let me open it real quick so y'all can see it before I go in this mall. Okay, y'all, so I think I opened it back here. Wow, I'm trying to open it delicately, y'all. I'm so silly. Oh, okay, so they got some little stickers. That you can decorate the Crocs with. Okay, Croc. That's cutie. Okay, so the big reveal. Oh, look at that, y'all. That is so cutie. And here's the attachment for your keychain right here. That is so cute. Oh, and look. It looks like a McDonald's um arch. Like a Happy Meal arch or whatever it's called. To carry the Happy Meal with. So it lets you um move that back and forth. Oh, that is so cute, y'all. Crocs be doing too much, I swear. Okay, y'all, let me go in this mall. I ended up changing my shoes, y'all, because, I mean, the other shoes were cute, but I just, I wanted to kind of, like, be comfortable. And the bottom of those shoes are kind of heavy. So I just wanted to put these on so I could be, like, kind of, like, lightweight on my feet. So y'all, I'm in Rainbow and I'm thinking about getting these two bodysuits. They have two for $7 each, so it will be $14. One of them is $10, you get two is $4 more, so I think that makes sense. So I'm going to get the black one and I'm going to get this brown one. What up, what up, what up? I'm back at the spot. I stopped at Arby's and got me something to eat. I got me a roast beef and cheddar sandwich. And then I got me some curly fries. 
today is my cheat day, y'all. I've been doing pretty good all week. So, yeah, your girl cheating today. And, of course, I got my strawberry lemonade, no ice. Mm. I wish they gave us a bigger size. They used to give us a bigger size than this, but then they went down. I hate that. I'm going to show y'all real quick what I picked up while I was at the mall. So, what I went out there for, baby. Uh-uh. That Ed Hardy suit. I said, Lonnie, I wish you had told us a little bit sooner. Because we would have ordered it online. Because I know it's got to be somewhere out there cheaper. That thing in DTLR. I went to three stores. I went to DTLR. Tilly's. Sorry, y'all. That was my son covered in. I was like, who is that coming in my door? I didn't even know that he was gone. He said he went for a walk. I was about to grab the blicky. Like, what's going on? But anyway, yeah, they air hard to sue y'all. Mm -mm. Looked in Tilly's. Looked in Zoomies. Looked in DTLR. DTLR is the only one that had it, but they didn't have her size in the bottom. They had her top because... I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but Lonnie is itty bitty, baby. She's itty bitty. So she is a small top and she is a small bottom. They had a small top, but it didn't have a small bottom. They had a medium bottom and I didn't want them to fit her too big. So I, I just told her like, let me look online. It might, it's going to be after your birthday, of course, but let me look online and see if I can find it somewhere cheaper. Cause when I was looking online at Fashion Nova, like I said, they was up there for like the whole thing was like fifty dollars. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I'd rather pay fifty dollars for the whole thing than two hundred, almost two hundred dollars. So anyway, yeah, what I picked up at the mall, y'all, when I first walked in there, I showed y'all, I stopped in Belt, and I needed me some more um, hoops. The hoops that I had, I lost one of them. And I've been saying I want to get me some more hoops for a minute. Um, the money is probably going to get me some later on. Maybe like for Christmas or something. Like some real hoops. But these right here, um, I just grabbed these from the uh, beauty supply store. And they've been holding on pretty good, you know. But I'd rather have some real hoop earrings. But for right now, um, when I was walking in the belt, I saw that they had some earrings for 70% off. So I just grabbed some old regular schmegler degler hoops. And the original price on them was $40, and I paid $12 for them. Like, let me see. I think like 12 and some change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I paid $12.84 for them. Like I said, they were 70% off. And then I picked up two bodysuits from um, Rainbow. I think I took y'all in there with me. I got this chocolate one, which I thought is very cute. And it's a 2X. I don't like my clothes to fit tight, especially my tops and around my stomach area. So, um, that's why I went up a size on that one. And then, you know, black, black, you know, technically it's supposed to make you look smaller. Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. So, I got the same one in black, but I got this in a 1X. And then, as I was getting ready to check out, you know how they have all the stuff up there in the front. Like, just little, all different types of stuff. I saw these pink slides they are so cutie and y'all that was only five dollars so i slid my foot in one of them just to check to see you know how it would feel and it's a seven and a half like my foot depending on the brand of the shoe my foot goes from a seven and a half to an eight it just depends and plus i have a fat foot so i have to make sure that whatever i get it kind of stretches or either it's it's wide because my feet are very, very fat. <laughs> my toes are very, very fat. So, yeah, I thought these were really, really cute. And then, um, as I was trying to leave out, they had a little bucket up there full of lip gloss. And y'all know I'm a sucker for aesthetics with lip glosses. I'm not aesthetically, like, all the way around. It's just certain things that I like the aesthetics of. And so I saw this lip gloss and it looked like a little juice box. Oh my God. I thought that was so cutie. So I had to grab that, y'all. Um, I just posted on my community tab that I was trying to get caught up with some of y'all vlogs. And I was so sorry that I was lacking. But, you know, work work been on my neck, y'all. I, I have to put my job first. I got to pay the bills around here. So 
what else can I do? So yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. The meat and potatoes are all I got going on the rest of the day. If I don't pick y'all back up no more today or if it ain't nothing worth vlogging about, then I'll holler at y'all tomorrow, which will be Saturday. See y'all later. What up, y'all? I know I said I won't go pick y'all back up no more today, but I forgot, y'all. I haven't done my walk for today. So I had to come get my walk in real quick. I was trying to debate whether I wanted to walk around closer to my house or whether I wanted to walk around the whole neighborhood. So I pushed myself and said, I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the whole neighborhood because I got goals I'm trying to accomplish and I don't want to shortchange myself or self-sabotage. So I said, let me go ahead and walk around the neighborhood. I'm gonna walk the long way. So yeah, sometimes you gotta push yourself to do stuff that you don't wanna do. But y'all, I'm hollering at these Crocs I got on, y'all. They call me Crocs. And when I tell y'all, I can feel every rock in the ground that I'm hitting. Have y'all ever walked y'all Crocs down? Like, I'm talking about walk the rubber off of them. Y'all, I lifted the bottom of my foot, y'all. And I could almost see my sock. I said, oh my God, I got to tell Carmen about this. We have walked these Crocs down, y'all. I'm talking about walking them down. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all later or probably tomorrow.